Hey, how's it going? Sorry, I thought I had the uh, audio on. But you know, things happen. All right, I'm gonna get something prepared here. Do a little traditional painting today. I don't really expect anybody to be on this late at night. It's a little past midnight, so. But I feel like doing a little painting, so I'm gonna paint. Adult beverage. Actually, it's iced tea. Okay, we're gonna get right onto it here. Be a typical little landscape with a broken down cabin with a hole in the roof. So we're gonna throw on a little bit of glycerin here up on top. Just get some skies going. Just like so. And we'll play around with some uh little cloud sky, you know. So let's use a let's use a fan brush. Let's take a little bit of a, a little bit of this cobalt blue, and we'll stamp it around like that. And we'll come over here, pop a little bit of this love up in here, like so. Then I'm gonna wipe off my brush. We're gonna just keep fading around with it, playing around. Let it fade and float off. Okay. Just let it kind of whisk away. Okay. We'll add some white in there too. And really just mess around with the edges a little bit. Whisp it around, play around a little bit with it, like so. I'm going to take a little titanium white and play around in there. A little bit of white, and right in the areas where you see the white patches will pop in some clouds in there. Hmm. Kind of get it a little natural looking today. Nothing really wild. Rinse off the brush. I think I want them to stand out a little more, a little more white than that. So after every pass, I'll just rinse off the brush. Put some of that off blue in here. Mm. 
where it's usually a little rough around the blue edges there, you can kind of play around with that. And just wave it around. Get some interesting stuff going. Let the glycerin do its thing and spread apart and play a little bit. Add a little, little bit of blue in here. And stir it around there. I think I'm going to get a little bit of dark blue. Let's play up in a corner. A little deeper. A little deeper blue. Give it a little bit of body in there. How about that? Now, it's a normal work week for people. So, once again, I don't really expect anybody to be on. As I'm looking at my quality here let's kind of tighten that up a little bit all right and we'll continue on playing I think that's enough fooling with it Get some dark color going. I'll use I use this guy. And we're going to Hello Jessica. Hello Rosemary. No, it's alright. I'm the late bird. Yo, I'm only a few minutes in. And hope you guys are doing okay. Now if you see that my quality is a little funky. Um on YouTube there's little three dots on the upper right hand side. Click that. Go to, um, I think it's called video quality or something like that. Then you click advanced and go up to the highest one and it should tighten up for you. It wouldn't, shouldn't be all blurry and everything. But I should be coming to you real smooth and all that good stuff. Hey, Tamara, how you doing? How you doing? We're going to do something pretty somewhat traditional today. Or this evening. Okay. Uh, let's pop this light on. I'm brighten up, brighten up things for a little okay let's get a little bit of dark blue now let's throw a little bit of green in there I'm gonna get a little touch of red we'll deepen that color I'll probably get it a little darker than this a little more red we'll deepen it up here I just want to do a little something with these trees now I zoomed in the painting a little bit okay all right we're gonna come up in here get some well we'll just work on getting this dark I'll go up there a little bit later really touch it kind of light to get it get them a little looks of uh kind of look of trees actually it goes way up here a little bit and it's just some tapping around down here we, we can get a little little deep be a little careful around the edge of the house there's no fancy taping or anything like that uh, it's just me going raw dog just get that deep color in there okay Once again, I'll go really light just to get the look of branches in there. I'm going to dip my brush into a little bit of water, just a little bit, just to loosen up the paint I got here. I do like the color mix. So I get kind of close to this house, do what I can there, get it as close as possible. Like I say, this is. Tap 
been some more crazy looking branches up in there or leaves. Oh, it's only mid-afternoon for you. Okay, so there's no no rush. Yeah, it's a little after midnight here. And I'll tighten up the... Get really close to that house. <coughs> So I can, I can assume that you guys can hear me fairly well, which is cool, that's cool. Alright, just tap that in and get a little dark there. Okay. So we're going to piece this together like I actually know what I'm doing. Try to use the correct size brush too. Let's get a little bit of green. We'll stay in here. Get a little bit of red. We'll cancel that a little bit. Get a little brown. Lighten it up a little bit. That's good enough. Yeah, that'll work. We'll come in here. Let's come up way over here. And we'll throw in some. Throwing some branches in there. Seems like something was going on, but it looks like it's okay. I just wanted to make sure. If anything acts up, let me know. Alright, so far so good. I just looked over there and I seen something kind of swirling so if it's if it paused I just wanted to you know just holler at me let me know if something's something's a little awry because if I get into it I won't I won't look I really should be looking I guess I'll use the same brush for some of the highlights here to the leaves you're in Washington huh oh you're in DC okay yeah 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 yeah, you're in the same time zone as I am. Seems like you're a night owl. I'm just adding a little white to this this green I have. I need to cough up some more green here. So I'll just go with the natural kind of green with the white mix. Get a little bit of water. Loosen up this paint. Very delicate touches. All right. Okay. Get a nice little patch going. Alright. And we'll get some going in here. And maybe with a slight semblance of bushes, we'll just give it a slight push. We'll come down here. And we'll come down here. We add a few more. Go in different directions with it. See? Come up here, just like that. They will continue with the trees. A couple of patches, right? Leave it alone, create a gap, get some more patches going. But keep that dark in there, that's what makes it look natural. Okay, going in different directions with this particular brush. I see that I might need some more paint, but that's okay, we'll keep playing. A little bit more paint, we'll tap it in there. And we'll come a little close to the house here. All right. Keep some of the dark ones out there because it just makes it look like the little forest is a little more full. All right. I don't need no more than that. We're successful just with that. Okay.
The 60s is a whole lot better than the 40s in rain. Our rain should stop, but uh, it's going to drop back down to more winter-like weather. But I don't uh, see too much as far as flurries, but probably more rain. Okay, so I'm still staring at things. We're going to take a little bit of, I'll use a flat brush. No glycerin, we're just going to get some. A little bit of, a little bit of a green, a little bit of blue. Blue in there. Let me slight touch of red, we'll deepen it just a little bit. Oh, I'm going to brown it up a little more. All right. That should be okay for the time being. And we're going to just come in here. Damn. Just bring that up there a little bit. Keep it fairly dark there. I'm going to dip into the blue with this darker color. I'm going to throw that blue in there a little. It's going to mix in with that, the green stuff. And I'm just putting in water. Water doesn't always have to be blue. You have blue in it, but we'll tease a little bit of blue in this darkness. Like I said, this is more traditional style. And there's a reason why I'm using pure paint and not much um, glycerin for a lot of this. I need this to dry, very important, for what I'm going to do next, or should I say later on in the painting. Block that in pretty good there. Alright, let's take a little touch of white. Lines just to pop and, and some water lines in there. I'm just waving, waving it around, getting some nothing really special, just some some little little bit of action in in the water. Something like that, but of course you guys don't see me do that. So let's raise up the painting a little bit. I got to keep in mind that um that I'm zoomed in a bit, so that's my fault. So sorry. Okay. Let's use a little bit of red I'm gonna just go right here and we'll mix the colors right around in this area here a touch of green a little bit of white all right and a little, little dot of water wet that up a little bit that's a nice warm gray and let's play around with the roof a little bit here this is all freehand. I'm pretty sure you guys can see a lot of this. And just do it really careful. We got a little bit of destruction here. It's 
got a hole in the roof. If you guys speak to me, I'll see it. I'll look over there. Got a little bit of that done. I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm going to mess around with these, just the edge. And we'll get some little hatches going here. A little bit of. Little patches here. Keep it at the same. Um, Angles we can. Um, they will build a, a capture a pumpkin fish and uh, they'll, they'll kind of you know, play with it, use it like a, a soccer ball. And then I, I'm not sure if it's the pumpkin fish that excretes a toxin. The toxin, yeah, after getting exploited, I get caught one of the pumpkin fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's something that's really about that. You don't work with it, I'm just talking to you. You're a little more cheap, so. But John, what do you think you would do? A little rough looking, rough looking thing. Okay. We'll get a little bit of red. A touch of blue. All right. A little touch of green in there. We're going to deepen this. When it dries, it almost appear, um, almost black. Do the. So I'm doing it all with a brush. Don't necessarily need to do it with a palette knife. And we're gonna come over here to the side. Give it a little something here. Let's take a smaller, I like that color. I'm gonna try to get it a little bit deeper. We're just gonna clean this brush off. I don't need it right now. Go back into our darker blue. A little bit of, a little bit of red, a little deeper purple here. Once again, it will appear black by the time we're done. Got a little little hole in the roof. Let's come over here and we'll darken in the windows real quick. Hey Linda, how are you? Pure black when we're all said and done. Everything's pretty much all freehand. Perspective is by eye. Okay. All right. So we got that going. Let's get some more of this dark color. Do the inside part of the roof here.
put it down there. All right. I'm trying to think of a few other things. I don't think so. Okay. As I'm looking here. Let's get a little bit of white. We'll go back into this light grayish color. I'm gonna throw the roof in there. We'll go into this little bit of blue. We'll darken up this same gray. Maybe a touch of red to help us out here. For a, a, a light side and a dark side for the chimney. Something like that up there. Okay. I might just use this. Let's get some more green. We'll put it right in here. Swimming around a little bit. Get a little touch of red. Now these are two color opposites. Stir it around. Get some white. Try to get the color I'm looking for. That should work. I'll use this. Like I say, everything is freehand, so. Hope everybody had a pretty decent day. Tamworth in the middle of her day. Technically, I'm at the end of mine, but as you can see, at midnight, I'm painting. Sometimes I'll paint. It won't turn the camera on. It's just, you know, me enjoying the painting. All right, let's get a little, little let's get a little bit of blue in there. And then we're going for our red. Mixing it in with this already um wooded color or um it's gray color so we've got a different color version of gray it will look kind of greenish and this is the darker side we'll make this a darker side i'm not really concerned about the bottom we're going to add all sorts of things to the bottom there What I like about this camera angle is that I can come in a little bit and do what I got to do without physically being in your way. Now remember, I'm just using water. No, no glisten. Because once again, I need this to dry naturally and to dry quickly. Make sure I get that window straight. Even though it shouldn't matter because this building's wrecked, but it's okay. Next, I'm not really too concerned about the bottom.
I'm scared to ask how much those glasses ran you. I'm scared to ask. These are uh, were almost 400 bucks. They're bifocals, but you don't you don't see the you don't see the circle or the line through them. Pretty neat how they do it. But it's pretty cool. All right, let's go a little bit lighter for the door. Same color, just adding white to it. Yeah, that'll work. We'll try that out. It won't be this plain color. We're going to put like uh, some wood slats in there. Still make it look three dimensional. Right now, I'm just blocking everything in. I think I can get away with it with this little brush. We're going to go dark again. We'll put it right here. Like I say, this will appear black when it's all said and done. Your eye really won't tell. Just like that, just a little line in there, just to <coughs> give it a little indentation there. Okay. All right. Let's add a little bit of white to this gray. I might want to just show this off a little more. So let's make it a little lighter. Something like that, just to show that off a bit. Let's put some busted windows in there. Let's go with a lighter blue, get a little bit of white in there. Now I'm going to take this blue and, and white mix, get a little bit of gray and throw it in there. Okay, let's gray that up a little bit. Let's come in here, we'll add up. Something like that. Make it look like busted glass. Something like that. I'm going to take a script lighter. Wet it. Take the same dark. Use the tip. We're going to put a little touch of white in there just for a little bit of glow. A little reflection there. Don't know if I want to put it in so much there, so we'll just make it a nice light gray. And we'll, th we'll throw in a little bit of something in there. You, won't, you might not even see it, but a little something. I guess we could make some uh, wood frames there. <coughs> or maybe just on one side. Get a little bit of depth there. Oh. Uh, I don't know if 
I want to put it on the inside or not. Maybe that would be fine. I'll probably use the same same uh, brush. And play with some uh, a little bit of white. We'll put it in this gray. And we'll get a log cabin look. We'll come here and we'll pop in some lines in there. Just to get the impression of Oh, run down the cabin. You still got to keep in mind the perspective. All right. Just like that. I might have to get up and turn that TV down a little bit. Because everybody's asleep. Maybe a little bit brighter on that, on that side. So add a little bit of white to it. Okay. Oh no. Oh man. Ah, oh, they try to get you. They they try to get you. Remember, keep keep the perspective even on something that might be so um insignificant, but you got to keep that perspective. All right. Keep, keep the perspective going on this. You don't have to have, um, for a cabin this small, you don't really have to. Oops, that was a mess up there. Go a little down over here. All right, like so. Just an impression of one, okay. And I'll probably take some of this darker blue. And right up here we'll paint some rough looking bricks in there. Just like that. We're going to come in on the other side. We'll make it a little bit lighter. It's the lit side, so. You do the same thing, perspective-wise. I say you might see this. You might not. But it's there. It's there. Okay. Um, let's take a little bit of the darker gray. We'll mix. Get it in there a little bit. Maybe a little bit of this bluish stuff in there. We'll take a little bit of blue. We'll put it in there. A little bit of red. We'll make it a little, a little, a little deeper. A little more red in there. Let's darken that. Get a little bit of water. I'm really concentrating on really the tip of the, of the brush. The more upright you hold it, the finer the lines. And we'll get some wood grain patterny things going on here with the door. Like this. Little detail-y things. Like that. Like I say, once again, you may or may not see all of that. Okay. Alrighty. Once again, I still, I, I want to, um, I'm, I want to glaze the building, but I don't want to use glycerin, so we're going to use water. I'm going to take a little bit of this dark blue. We'll put it right here. Get a little bit of water. Make it really soupy. That's not dark enough. Let's touch it up with a little bit of red. That might work. Uh, let's get a little more red in there. And I might green it up just a tad to kill some of that. Now that I got that green tinge in it, it's still really watery. 
Get a little bit of red and just deepen it. Just like that. It's still very watery. Okay. I don't need that much, but it's cool. I might need it for something else. I'm going to clean off my brush and use a scant bit. Just, just a little bit. And we're going to come in here and we'll uh, add a little bit of shade in there. Okay. Just a little bit of shadow there. You can go a little heavier here. It's the dark part of the, of the cabin. Now it is, it does rather have water in it. So you can manipulate it. You got a few seconds to do that if it's too dark. Something like that. Let's get a little shadow on that roof like that all right okay <coughs> just underneath the awning it should be the darkest under there okay 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 uh let's get a little bit piece of a shadow going right across the start and angle we'll wipe it so it's like painting a little triangle right there leave it be okay clean off the brush hey bill bill hey how's it going bill i see you all right over 300 mm. gotcha like these I had these for a while. It looks like I might need to go for another eye test. It's that diabetes thing. And and uh, go about things that way. I'll use this brush. What I'm going to do right now is block in the grass area. We're not done yet. There's a little trick I want to show you, but we're going to block in the grassy area. Oof, it's tacky. Uh, because this is this had the glycerin in it, so I have to be careful. But it's it's okay. The tape shouldn't um, tear it up too much. But this stuff here is all right. Yeah, this is fine. All right. Um, let's take some green. We'll mix it all in this. We'll even use this dark stuff. We'll just mix it all in there, just like that. Just pop it in there. Get some water. We'll loosen it up. This is just me blocking in the grass area. All right. Okay. All up in here. All up in here. Block it all in. Don't leave any um, bits of paper showing. Don't leave the white of the paper showing. Block it all in. This does not have to be the prettiest thing right now. Because you're just blocking it in. Whatever type of grass you want comes after this. This is a heavy body acrylic paint. Um, and watercolor paper. Now to do it the correct way. You pre-wet the paper. And let it fully dry on its own no hair dryer or anything blow dryer just let it naturally dry so if you if you paint a lot with this paper um do a few sheets at a time depending how often you paint little touch of water i'm just gonna loosen up this paint kind of work up the rest of this color I won't have enough to uh, to do the whole thing because it's dry here so it's just wet on dry so I'm going to end up making some more which is fine this is fine let's get a little bit of blue a little well the rest of that green let's put it in there let's see what we got here 
Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it'll work. It'll work. Get a little water. Pop it in there. So we got the... Um, it's going to be a little darker, but it's alright. I don't want to add any white to it. And we'll just come down here and pop it in there. It's alright if it's a little darker. Actually, we're going to use that to our advantage. Like I say, I'm, so again, I'm just blocking this stuff in. You still handle um, your painting. Um, you know, you work from the back towards the front. Large areas like this, you just block it in. The ugly duckling stage. When I paint like this and show you guys, it's really <coughs> instructional to get you guys going. Maybe give you some ideas on how to how to approach things. Okay. Because when I paint, when the camera's off, it's a commission. I'll use the same techniques, but to obviously just take my time with it. And I would use canvas, I wouldn't use watercolor paper. All right. I'm just rinsing off the brush really good. just looking at things while I'm waiting for it to tack up and dry let's take <coughs> let's take um a little bit of white some of this cobalt blue put it in there a little more white I should really wait. Yeah, let me wait for that. I don't want to skip ahead. Let's let this tack up. I don't have to do anything back here. I don't have to do anything more to the to the cabin. So I'm really waiting for the for the grass to tack up a little bit. And we're gonna get some. I'll just use this fan brush. I will probably, if I'm smart, and uh, I've never been on record as to being that. Let's use this one way over here. Yeah, let's use this little fella. We're going to lighten up this green a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow here. You got to beef up that yellow with um, a little titanium white. Like that. Okay. All right. I'll probably throw in a little bit of cobalt in there. We'll deepen that green a little bit. There. We'll deepen the color. Still going to be lighter than this. Get a little bit of water. Put it in there. Loosen up that paint a bit. Okay. Okay. Um. There's no way for me to clean this brush. So I got to wipe it off. And then we're gonna come on in here and just using the tip of the brush, we'll start up here. And we'll tap. And get some nice little patches in there. I don't want to get rid of all of the um, all of the darker green, and I won't go by the house. This is how you include the house in there. See, put that green, put that grass all in there in that house, like so. Work it in patches, then open it up a little bit. Get yourself a patch here. Just loosen it up a little bit, see, like so. I'm gonna flip my brush around. I'm gonna continue up here. Get some more. And aim it downward because you're going down up in a cliff. I'll lighten this up a little bit more as we go along. So you go 
your base color, then your medium color, which is what I'm doing now, then you go light to wherever you want the sunlight to be. Okay. Of course, I can use a bigger brush to get it done faster, but it's not really necessary. I don't, I don't got nowhere to go tomorrow. You guys might, but I don't have nowhere to go. How are things going with you, Bill? Are you still drumming, Bill? If you're still here. side so well very delicately not as rough as I did it in previous we're gonna see you can really gauge where you want this so much anymore you know I don't play at all I don't even practice so I got the keyboards um, there's a, a woman that wants lessons and when she gets back to me I'll continue them when she's ready she may primarily main wants to play for herself and you know I can respect that that's cool now, me sketch it, uh, popping in all this, this bright stuff. It's just letting you know where the light source is, which is in the on the um, left hand side here. So out here, a little on the dark side. All right. So once again, we're gonna emphasize that. We're gonna make another glaze. Uh, let's take some of this deep blue. We'll put it right here in the green. It's all right. I promise it is. These colors are somewhat cousins. So I find everything kind of, kind of matches. Even that brown. Okay. We're going to come here. And we're just... Shade in that house. Just like so. <laughs> Pop it right in there. Just like that and leave it be. Alright, now you have your directional stuff going. You got a little bit of highlight stuff happening there. Alright. Okay, 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 cool. Let's see. Have you ever seen Younger? How's he doing? Is he still is he still playing the bass? I'm getting a little bit of a uh, blue, a little bit of red. A deep blue and a very heavy red makes an excellent black. I uh, will throw a little green in there. Then some more red. Remember, the green and the red will cancel each other out. That blue, it's a nice base to do it and you almost got black. 
Okay, a uh, slight touch of water in there, loosen up that paint. I, I prefer heavy body paint because it reminds me of my oil paint. Nice. Are you still at um, Bishop Stokes? Uh, let's throw a rock in two or two in there. Thin here, it gets a little thicker out here. It's, it depends on the on um, how large you want the rocks. These fellows are down here by the by the shore a little bit. Now they're flat. Once they go into the water, you make them lumpy or whatever up here. But it comes to a point and it slopes down. All right, and we'll throw a few in there. Um. I'm gonna put a couple of tiny ones in there. I'll keep them near the shoreline because if I put them in the water, then um, we'll pop a nice one right in here. Just like that. Um, man, I'll have them come to the shore a little bit. Come up here and give them a little character and put them right up in here like this. But it has to come to a point. Just like that. Manual grace, okay. Now I, 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 um, the last time I, ever, I seen a picture or whatever, man, they've went through some, some, some uh, changes. Nice, okay, Bill. Nice. But man, they look like they have totally revamped the whole church. It doesn't look anything like I remember it. But then again, it's been, what, over 20 years, so. Okay. We're going to start highlighting these, these rocks here. Um, so we'll get a nice medium shade going here. Directional stuff. Okay. So some of this it's gonna be toward the front. Obviously anything super dark will be on the bottom and it toward the rear of these fellas. A little touch of white, we'll go back into this color. Uh, many of you who are pretty new to me, or you know, you haven't really been with me through the years, you guys really haven't seen me do this. And the ones that do know who, you know, been around with me for a minute. It's been a, a while since I've painted like this. And this is not really the Bob Ross type method or anything. This is a little more traditional. Yeah, I noticed. From what I've seen anyway. Okay. This is a brighter color for the direct highlights. Usually I would I would dry brush this. You don't need too much of it, it's directional. Obviously this is exactly where the sun or the brightest part of, the, of, of whatever light we got. That's where this is. And if you notice, it's not as, this whole painting's not as super vibrant. So a little more natural. And when you paint stuff like this, um, um, if you paint stuff like this, a little more natural, um, stuff isn't as bright as your eye might have you think. Uh, a lot of colors, when painters paint, doesn't necessarily use them straight out of the tube. They, they, it's usually mixed <coughs> to gray it down a little bit. So it does look more natural. All right. So colors aren't as bright as you as you as you think as you would perceive, especially if you're gonna try to emulate it. Um, on paper or canvas okay 
let's go back to our blue a little touch of white there a little bit of water a little brighter this might perceive to be almost well perceived to be white but it's not a little water here well, again smaller the brush we're going to come here a lot of this um, stuff I'm doing is close enough for you guys to see it which is great and we're going to get some motion lines going around the, you know, around the rocks here like that we'll highlight some of this stuff in here it's almost like um like handwriting but let's do the rocks first my brush is starting to catch so it needs more water I can tell when it's starting to catch and then we'll flare some of that out with <clears throat> and I can really just trace over some of the lines I have the more of these lines you put in there the more active the water also so be, be mindful of that this this painting is really too small to really use a palette knife all right okay that's not too bad it's all right it's all right okay well no let me use this here let's take uh well let's take i i am going to use a palette and i have to mix let's mix um color real quick let's see if i got my this palette knife is too large where's my other shrimpy palette knife There it is. Come here. Come to Papa. Um, can't use none of this. It's partially dried up. So we'll just get rid of some of this. And we'll clean up the palette a little bit. you bill no bill I did not know that no how long ago was that bill ironically I was gonna ask did anybody that we know um, from the church pass it's very ironic you would bring that up. Because every once in a great while, he would talk to me. You know, he would, he would say, what's up? God okay natural causes we're gonna put some long grass in there use the tip of the brush we're going straight ahead uh, straight forward because it gives you the thinnest line and you curve them that can do will be to be a little lighter than that and we're gonna get it a little bit lighter I'll just go into the white, get plenty of water, well at least as much water as you can get with a brush this thin, okay, it's no harm in going over it again, it's alright, and that's it, you just pop them in there, Okay. 
here. Just like that. Uh, we'll put in some baby ones in here. Okay. They get, they get a little, little smaller. All toward that way. Some baby ones way out here. Keep them pretty near the shoreline. And we'll throw in a patch or two in here a little bit and just curve them. Uh, we'll throw in a little, little bit of, of stuff in here. I just don't want them too tall. So they get a little smaller, but this little patch, they get larger up here. Okay, uh, we'll throw in a patch, even though I know stuff it might be covered over here. But it's all right, we're gonna put them in anyway. show you guys something this is gonna look crazy but I'm gonna show it to you uh, I was contemplating a pine tree but I decided against it we're gonna do a different one different tree Let's see if it's in here. Eh, I don't want to use that. No problem. I'll use I'll use this one. I thought I had some blue tape around here somewhere. Uh, I don't particularly care for using it. I know I have. I know I have some around here somewhere, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's um, go about this long. This is rather unconventional. We're going to have to pan it over here. Mm, sorry. You're not going to see the top, but you see the bottom a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to tear it. Yes, I is. And I'll tear it. It's going to tear off funny looking. Just let it and just let it do it. Just tear it. Come out there like this. Go in. Just tear it thing just like that tear it up tear up the tape tear it up now why would I do such a weird thing like that because I'm gonna put a tree or two in here that's why we'll put one right here I know this is odd I know this is weird let's pull back a bit mm. and then let's go this way let's aim it think this way whoa I knew that was gonna happen I knew that was gonna happen okay okay now I'm gonna I'm in a predicament I gotta get up here I just tore the pole right off ah I need a bigger nail well looks like I'm gonna have to come back to you guys and shut this off because well let me change the camera to a steadier camera hold on cuz I'm all wrapped up around here this is hilarious I'm not going to edit it either. This is what happens there. Okay. So. Oh, I forgot I got to tie you down too. Hold on. Because I'm going to end up tearing this thing up. Oh, I can't. Oh, can I?
Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Let it hold up against me. Cause I gotta tighten this thing. There we go. All right. Actually, let me shut you off and unplug this. Okay. I want to show you guys what just happened. I'm glad I caught it. All right. Here's the camera. It fell. I gotta set it down right here and make sure I don't knock all my stuff over. But this has definitely got to be fixed. If not, I'm in a world of trouble. Okay, let's put you. No, oh, it's not gonna work either. Well, yeah, it'll sit there. Whew, that was that was close. That would have been a two hundred dollar camera on the ground. Oh. Okay. Anyway, what happened is my camera is on a pole that that man, that twists and turns so the camera can move this way or that way. It just fell right off the wall. I think it the um the screws aren't aren't long enough, but I got some. I can fix it. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna stop it right here. What time is it? 114? I'm like 90% done with this painting, so I'm gonna come back after I fix this. So I gotta rename the video and uh <laughs> call it wait to the end. And then I'll be back. Alright, let me get up out of here and fix this thing. Oh, uh, do I got my outro? Yep. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs>